Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to the show, Fernando. Welcome to the show. Today we have a special one for you. They're it's awesome. an F-150. <laughs> it's not an F-150. It's actually a Tesla Model Y. Why, you say? Our good friend John Schneid, which is our Alpine rep, just bought the new Tesla audio system the plug and play restyle whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. for his model y and we said hey can we can we put it in he said sure we're going to take you through the steps on how to install the new alpine system in your model y it ought to be a lot of fun we're excited we're both like yeah we don't do a lot of teslas this is pretty cool because it's not an f-150 stay tuned guys So for those of you that are like, man, I don't know anything about EVs, I don't like them, it's cool, it's no big deal. Today we're gonna learn all about them and what makes them unique, what makes them different, what makes them a pain in the butt. Are they everything they're cracked up to be? Should you be spending $40,000 on this thing? I don't know, that's that's a whole nother thing. But let's see what this thing has and what we're gonna be doing to it. Let's hop inside so that you can get a feel for the vehicle. Now one of the big selling points of the Tesla is that there's no gauge cluster. There's no there's no nothing here. Which there again, I'm I'm not I'm old, I guess, because I like I like looking at my I like it. But this is like having a big giant touch panel, we'll call it an iPad because iPad. everyone likes that. It's we all know what it is. In your dash that controls everything, does everything, maps, music, every single thing. Like I had to shut off the dome lights. There's a, a thing to do that. It's all built in. On the flip side of that, because of that, this thing just wakes up for everything. Like sitting in the car, wakes it up, opening the door, just moving everything, wakes it up. Now there's a sleep mode you can put it in, but that's just like right now. We don't want it to be active because we're just talking and we don't want to waste battery voltage. So we'll go to power off and we'll power it off and it'll go to, it'll shut off. The screen will go away. But that doesn't mean that it's ready to be worked on. There's a procedure to make sure we're gonna to have to disconnect the battery, which it's gonna be sitting here for two days and we wanna make sure. You have to kind of think about the install before you do that, meaning open the doors, roll windows down. And one of the tips that our good friend Eric Brooks at Alpine says that really bit him in the ass is these back seats are power back seats. Once you disconnect the battery, they don't work anymore. So you have to pre-pop the back seats. And I was like, that's a solid tip. We're definitely. gonna definitely need that one because you'd have to close everything up, put everything back together, connect the power, and then pop the seats and then re-uninstall. You know, it, the, it's pain in the butt. Yes. So these are the kind of some of the silly things. The other thing too is like, this is a 15 volt system. The nice thing about the Alpine system, which is really cool, is that it's made for these cars. So if the 12 volt, 15 volt system, the amplifier is unique in the Alpine lineup mm -hmm. to be put in these vehicles. So there's a lot of fun stuff for that. Not every amplifier works. No. So you just, you know, have to be aware of that. Now, the other cool thing about this Alpine system is that all the speakers, and this has a bunch of speakers. You have a tweeter here, you have a mid-bass here, you have a mid-range here, you have a mid-range there, you have another mid-range over here. You possibly have a tweeter here, another tweeter there, tweeter there. Not to mention there's rear door speakers here. There's gonna be a sub back here. There is already a sub back here somewhere. And that's not to mention the speakers that we aren't gonna replace. You know, like some of these have speakers up here. They also have these high effect speakers, which are up here and there. Those speakers were not gonna be doing anything with because they're not part of the kit. The one cool thing about this kit is that it does come with a decent set of instructions. Most Teslas are fairly similar and it is plug and play. But let's take a look at the system and I'll, I'll kinda, the term plug and play is, really just means that there's harnesses involved that you don't have to cut things, I think is how we should think of plug and play now. Plug and play is somewhat just as difficult as any other install. They've just skipped a few steps for you so you're not having to probe a bunch of wires. It's kind of like the modern alarm system now. A lot of the new remote starts and stuff like that, they come with harnesses and you buy harness packs. So this is the evolution into car audio. But let's take a look at those and I'll show you what I mean. It comes with the six and a half inch components for the door as you can see from the box which I will be taking these out and holding them and letting you see them it's kind of a unique size and then we have all the other little cool four inch that go into the car this is the big amplifier pre-made subwoofer enclosure and then over here we have the big T harness with plugs and then they're using pack adapters to integrate into the car it's kind of thought out pretty well the one thing that this does not have is an amp 
bracket. That is something you're gonna have to figure out where you wanna mount it. They talk about mounting it in the back. We've talked to some of the guys that put these in and they're talking about putting it underneath the pasture seat, which there's lots of room underneath the pasture seat. That would be my location because we know that I like to put things underneath the pasture seat. However, this is a reps car. We're gonna be putting the amplifier in the boot as it were because he's gonna be wanting to show this thing off to other dealers like us. And so we wanna make sure it's easily showable for that purpose. He asked us to make it look like, you know, that. So I was like, cool. But most people, I think you'd wanna put underneath the passenger seat so you don't waste the trunk space in the back. Let's look in the back and I'll show you what I mean. You have these two big cargo areas. This one is like, where you got charging cables and stuff like that tucked into it. And then you have this one right here, which is kinda of like wasted space. Like I don't think, a lot of people are gonna use this for anything. That's where Alpine recommends putting it, which is where ours is gonna go. Kinda of have an idea of what we're going to be doing. How do we get to that point? Well, the first thing, when you download the instructions, actually the only instructions they print that give you in the box are these big red warning ones right here. And this is for the power down procedure in the car. This is where those tips come into place. So what you need to do, open this. You need to open the trunk. You need to open all four doors. We are going to be doing some sound treatment, so it does tell you to roll the windows all the way down, which is probably smart, but if you're doing sound treatment, you're not going to want to do that because you're going to need to get to this area here. What we've found in most applications is that we roll the window halfway down, and that'll give us the room to get in there and add our sound treatment to the back area, which is important because if the window's rolled all the way down, it's like I can hook the door panel back up and doo -doo -doo. The other thing that Eric Brooks, like he said, he told us, make sure you unlatch these back seats. So you do have to pull this out, which is one of the connection points, but these are power, so you wanna make sure before you disconnect power, you fold these down, because you're gonna be needing to run cables on this side of the car. If it's latched, you're screwed. If you are gonna be mounting the amplifier underneath the seat, which is cool, make sure you unscrew the seat before you disconnect power, because to unscrew a seat, you have to slide it all the way back, pull the two front bolts, slide it all the way forward, pull the two back bolts, slide it back kind of halfway, and then the seat will fall back so that you can get underneath it. Everything that you think you're gonna to have to power up the car for Four, you have to do first. Are you ready? That's what I have to do first. He's got his coffee, he's all set and ready to go. Let's get started, guys. First part of this product is in the frunk, front trunk, yeah, frunk. Sounds like a Starbucks-y thing that they're saying. Mm -hmm. You know, make up some words. We need to pop this panel off. There's just a couple clip. This is super simple to get off and the fact that it just has these little plastic clips you saw. We didn't have to use a pry tool or anything like that. It just lifts off. It's made to be serviced. For those of you that own one of these, this is where your battery charging or jump point is. It's located right here. They even have a picture of it. It's a red thing behind here. And that's what we're trying to get to is that connection point to that part of the car, the low voltage part. The next step into this is to remove this cool little bathtub here. Do to do that, there's some 10 millimeter bolts. Now, when working on a car, whether you're a DIY guy or a shop or something like that, you need to have some form of a method to keep track of what bolts go where. We like to use little Tupperware bowls like this that we get from Target for like two bucks. Uh, a lot of guys like to use Ziploc bags and write on them. Whatever it is, just have some kind of method because the worst thing you wanna do is just drop them into the tub. Tub gets knocked over, you lose bolts and stuff like that, it's no fun. Now even though he's a cool rep and he knows like the biggest complaint of car stereo guys is the amount of crap people leave in their cars, he left a bunch of crap in his car. Nice guy. All right, with all the stuff out of the trunk, the two other 10 millimeter bolts are located down in the bottom of the tub that we need to remove. With the big tub out of the car, we have two more silver 10 millimeter bolts located on opposite sides of the air intake. Let's take a closer look. This is the plug we are trying to get to. We're gonna unplug this plug here, not yet but we're gonna plug that plug there. Before we do that though, we need to get to the back seat. You need to remove the back seat. There's two clips, one on either side. Kind of let it work its way out. It's not gonna unplug. We can unplug it after we get power done, but for right now we just need to get it up out of the way. What we're looking for is on Fernando's side. Located over 
here on the passenger side of the car is this plug right here. This is the main battery plug that needs to come out of the car. This is also called the high voltage plug. If you'll notice back here, this shiny red piece, this is the main power. This is either gonna be 12 or 15 volts, and this is where you can see if it's 12 or 15 volts because on this side is negative, on this side is positive. This is where we're gonna be connecting the power for the amplifier, and it is located here, just to give you a bigger area on this. Before we unplug these, we need to make sure we are ready to go. We need to lower these back seats down, which it's just fine. The other thing too is that the lock for the back seats is in the motor assembly, so when you're flipping these up and down, you have to make sure that you don't accidentally click it up into place because that would suck and you'd have to start over. But we wanna make sure they're down. You wanna make sure that the seats are kinda of where they need to be. Like a lot of the stuff we're gonna be doing is just here on the passenger side and it's gonna involve this A pillar or B pillar right here. So I'm gonna move this seat forward and up so that it's out of the way and we can get to all of this area easily enough. Driver's seat we haven't touched yet. Normally we would measure the location of the seat, but since we're not doing anything on that side of the car and we're gonna be disconnecting power, we don't really have to worry about it. I think we're to the point to where we're good, right? I think so, yeah. So all four doors are open, trunk, frunk, seats, everything. Hit the car, scroll down to here where it says safety, scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, hit power off, turn power off. The screen goes off, that's telling you the power is off. At this point, don't touch anything in the car at all. We wanna unplug this harness here underneath the hood of the car. There you go. All right. So it is a bit tricky, but there's this cool green thing located here in the top. You pull up on that and then you pull back on the black and as you're pulling back in black, yay, it will lift this up off. You wanna make sure that this doesn't accidentally come into here anywhere, so tuck it out of the way. Now we're gonna to move to back underneath the seat and we're gonna unlatch that connector. On this connector, there's that gray piece right there, that U-shaped gray piece that is facing up, so you remove it and face it down and as you're doing that, the unit will pop up and out. Tuck it away so that it doesn't accidentally manage to plug itself back in. At this point, this car is essentially just a shell. There's nothing happening. There's no power in it. It's ready to start working on. And we got a lot of stuff to do. We got a whole bunch of speakers we need to put into this. If you head over to Alpine's website, the nice thing is, is they give you a really okay instructions for this. It's not bad. It really isn't bad. But you can print it out like we've done here. But we also have it loaded up here on the computer. If you look at it, it goes through and explains where harnesses are at, what you want to do, parts you need to take off, how to get the door panel off, where routing is, and where parts are going to be, which is pretty exciting, right? Yeah.